Hello and welcome back to Planet Zoo where we try to build the Antwerp Zoo in the game. Today's episode is going to be rather short because I have a lot of work outside of um, my uh, YouTube channel, uh, exams and stuff like that. Um, so in today's episode we will be building a uh, uh, habitat, an exhibit uh, for the pangolins. Uh, the the actual exhibit in real life is not for pangolins but for uh, the Canadian porcupine if I am correct so uh, because the pangolins are of similar size I decided to go with them so I will put up a picture of the actual exhibit on screen right now you will see that there are a lot of wooden uh, logs in there so that's what we'll be using mostly uh, as decoration for this uh, little house it is rather small, that's why I decided to, to build this uh, for this episode, because as I said, I did not have much time, so something as small as this uh, really proved uh, handy uh, to build. So I didn't find a lot of uh, history on the building uh, either, only that it was built in 1901 and designed by Emil Tienens, who we know by now. Um, the front was originally also uh, in metal bars instead of glass to keep the animals inside and it originally did not house uh, the uh, North American porcupines but a whole lot of different animals throughout its history. So right now we are doing the logs on the front and we will be moving to the back as well. Uh, I use the Australian logs uh, at both sides here, at both ends and uh, the regular logs uh, for basically all the all the rest um, and then I also use these African branches to give a bit more uh, difference in shape there at the I think that's called the fronton or something like the triangle shaped thing at the top and then I basically moved the entire thing to the back uh, and I created a little door there because that's where the, the zookeepers can uh, come in and yeah that's basically where they uh, can go into the exhibit and take care of the animals. Now, because this uh, exhibit is so small, they and it's it's gonna be full of like trees and stuff like that, or actually the dead trees and stuff like that. They don't actually have access to the entire thing, which is a kind of a problem. Then I use these Arctic uh, windows, was it or doors, uh, to give this. Uh, like the archway and stuff like that basically just adding as many wooden details and stuff like that to make it look like the original thing because there's a lot of branches there in the back um, and then I moved on to the front basically the glass um, that keeps the the animals in uh, inside of their exhibit and I, mo I um, also made some poles there because I, I still wanted to keep those poles even though the uh, barrier itself didn't have them because uh, in the original thing I, there were also some poles there then we move into the interior uh, I basically put in I, I thought of putting in these like climbing stuff but the pangolins can't actually climb as far as uh, as I'm aware but because the original thing in real life still has like all these climbing elements in it, I think uh, I think that was a good choice. And then basically I put in some some dead trees because because that's what's in the real life uh, building. I moved it over uh, and then realized that not everything was part of the the group, so I had to move to put it in there as well. But yeah, we're now actually at the end of the time lapse, so let's jump right into the game. Uh, to have a look at the enclosure. So we are now in the game. Um, our pangolins are drinking because they were uh, dehydrated because the zookeepers can't access this. Yeah, uh, so this is the building. Have a nice look at it. Um, I think it worked out really well with all those branches and stuff. Now off camera I also added in this path. Don't worry about these big holes in here not finished yet because there needs to be something here. I added in some foliage here to cover this building up, make the transi transition uh, really nice between like this area and this area. Um, what else did I do off camera? Let me think. Uh, oh yeah, I started 
building on or started working on the back area here because there's gonna be like uh, I also started on the interior now it's not done yet basically this is like a lounge area and a restaurant I've added in these tables and chairs I think that worked out really ni nicely as you can see there's a long line uh, here for the restaurant or the I <laughs> Basically added in a frietkot, uh, if you know what that means, like a place where you get fr uh, fries, not Bel not French fries, Belgian fries, uh, and basically something where the people can drink, and I added also a restroom. So uh, basically the Flamingo restaurant, or a, as it is actually called the Grand Café Flamingo, the interior is mostly completed here. Oh, before I forgot, forget, I also added in this really nicely looking uh, like ceiling that they have. I think that worked out really well. Uh, basically some flamingos and you can also see that, oh, you can also see part of that here on the wall where the bar is. Um, so I, I don't know uh, what I'll do next episode. Uh, I'm still kind of debating between finishing off this area over here, but there, like, there still needs to be some kind of garden here, a, a big building over here, and we have some koalas over here, I, if I'm correct, and we have some monkeys here, and a, like a, a big monkey building, so that all needs to fit in here, and over here we have like the gift shop of the zoo, and there's also like two or three I, I think the red pandas and there's some bears here so yeah, that all connects to the back of the, the flamingo restaurant here so I might do that I'm not sure yet but anyways uh, if you like this uh, please consider giving it, giving it a like and if you want to see more don't hesitate to subscribe see you next time bye